They did it again. Just released a new study that pulls again the evidence that 3 I Atlas it's not a comet. Bang! So the last study that I showed you because you know what there's people out there very nervous oh this is not true no this is not true what is true a preprint discussion published everywhere in egosphere with seti institute on canada on united states no 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 this is not true this this is a an ai picture a document that was invented by ai saying it's not a comet from mainstream <laughs> No, this is not true. You are right. You are right. This is not true. And they say clearly here. Should I go to the conclusions? Look, they even have a table here that compares them. And they got short on this. Because they didn't explain the nickel without iron. They, they kind of put it there. It's better not to talk about this now. But even without that, that to me is super strong. Well, to everybody. They did the calculations, man. No, this is not. This should not be true. And the articles they are based on in in the other platforms, peer paper reviewed already. No, and the table here. Look, 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 look at the table. This is not true, man. Comparative analysis. Remember, they said it's not a comet. It might be something natural. They want to say it's natural. They will never say it's alien, man. They said it can be an exomoon relic or a sedimentary fragment. An exomoon relic is a fragment from a moon from an alien planet. So an alien moon released. Some of you ask, how, how can it happen? It could be during the formation of that system. There's a star system like the sun, the solar system. That was formed 4.6 billion years ago, and the mass was here. Remember that the hypothesis of the existence of our moon is that Theia, uh, another planet, hit the Earth, and from that, part of it got into the Earth, and the denser part of it was the, the one that formed, that material formed the moon. It's one hypothesis only. So it can be something like that. Instead of being our moon, it was released into space and they say it can be something like that. It doesn't explain the nickel without iron, but you know, they forgot it. I think they forgot it. Or a sedimentary fragment. That means from the crust of a, an alien planet. During that formation, bam, 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 bam. Instead of a moon, a, a piece of the crust was released and Man, you, you gotta have a bit of imagination to, to think this, but you know. It's easier to think it's alien, but... And then they put in the third column, a comet, exomoon, and they put the different, the different features, kind of anomalies. That exomoon they consider, yes, it has a, a check, sedimentary, yes, comet area, a cross. Whoa, 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 hold well on. All crosses here? In this column of the comet. How can it be? No, this is not true, man. This can't be true. This is AI or Grok inventing. This can't be true, man. How can scientists from mainstream say that matches exomoon relic, that matches sedimentary fragment, and being a comet, it doesn't match. All with crosses. All. All of it. The jets narrow, the low mass loss, the GIR survival, the tail morpho morphology, the anti tail, that is not a tail, and the lack of it. Hydrated bands, nickel domains, density, CO2 outgassing. Nothing of this complies with the comet. Mainstream scientists. What the heck is going on with the world? Surrender. Surrender to the evidence. It's not a comet. Beam me up, Mr. Spark. No, Tiago, you are you are doing the wrong interpretation of that uh, table. Okay, let me read here. 
These results suggest the existence of a new branch of classification for small bodies. Look the trick here. A new branch. They are already seeding the dark comet or white comet or invisible comet or whatever they will call it to trick us and say it's not alien it's a blank comet they are the results consistent with either a differentiated exomoon relic or sedimentary planetary crust fragment but difficult to reconcile with a weakly lithified comet 3i atlas is inconsistent with cometary nuclei. BAM! 3i Atlas shenanigans. 3i Atlas, listen carefully, 3i Atlas is inconsistent with cometary nuclei. And this was only the first study. The new one was just released. Breaking news. A new study that it's called JCMT constraints on the early time HCN and CO emission and HCN temporal evolution of 3i atlas sounds very complicated but I prepared something to make it easy for us to understand not only you you and me and the shenanigans as well HCN is hydrogen cyanide and CO is carbon monoxide CO this study examines the carbon monoxide and the hydrogen cyanide in the evolution of 3i atlas it's the foundation of this study and then they study everything will you know as usual with the calculation scientific work graphics more graphics what is relevant here is that they realized the scientists that the hydrogen cyanide is very steep it's not usual in any comet so this study in reality discovered and exposed a characteristic that is a characteristic that doesn't match a comet simple as that moreover they realized that there was like an activation closer to the perihelion of this element there was a moment that's why i asked avi loeb if uh, the appearance of r2 swan could have something to do because when R2 Swan appeared, the other object, that we don't know if it's not interstellar. They say it's not, it's from the outer um, boundaries of the, the Oort cloud, but they don't know very well, man. It's what they say. They can't uh, point this, this was the place where it came from. So this study found a very steep slope in the rise of hydrogen cyanide output much steeper than any known comet bam it is so what can it be because comets don't behave like that engines do so can it be that the ship dramatically boosted output as it prepared for a maneuver can it be that the exhaust signature turned on suddenly like a spacecraft firing up its propulsion for curse correction it's not only that it has a steep curve the hydrogen cyanide it's the moment it appeared it's two in one two anomalies in one the quantity and the moment like an activation right near the perihelion why does this object act so weirdly closer to a star it should have something behind that that we don't know and if we keep blocking the alien possibility maybe we'll never know this could mean that the vessel was running with minimal exhaust to avoid detection the lack of that and then the activation near the sun and near our planet could be that or its propulsion system produced no conventional chemical byproducts doesn't need the object might have been traveling on inertial cruise coasting silently through space this can be because a spacecraft was designed to appear like an inactive comet camouflage again camouflage as the ship detected increasing solar energy approaching the sun 
it might have powered on auxiliary systems or waste heat or trace ga gases from an energy reactor could begin leaking once the ship was active. The steep power law dependence, so very rapid increase of emissions near the sun, could reflect a deliberate ramp up, not a natural sublimation curve. Crazy, 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 man. The study found that very steep slope of hydrogen cyanide, much steeper than any comet. A fact. Like a rock. Fact like a rock. Comets don't behave like that. Engines do. And the low carbon monoxide. The low carbon monoxide can be explained as the ship does not use carbon-based fuel. We tend to be biased and think the, the aliens would use something like we use on Earth. Maybe not. Who the heck knows? Did you see any? No, no, no. So don't tell it's this or that because you didn't see any. The propulsion might rely on ion drives, fusion, fission, photon sails, zero point or field propulsion. Therefore, no carbon monoxide signature appears because carbon monoxide is a natural comet byproduct, not a technological one. And there's a technological spaceship that Three Atlas is doesn't require carbon monoxide as comets do. Because it's not a comet! 